Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to send automated appointment reminders on SMS. So if you have collected all the data of your customers or your patients in your Google Sheet and you want to send them reminder SMS through Twilio, then rather than doing this work manually, you can create this automation. By creating an integration between these two applications, this automation will be created with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the new row added in Google Sheet and our action will be to send message using Twilio. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how to send automated appointment reminders on SMS. To create this automation, we will be using Pabli. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And from here, we are going to choose Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on Access Now and then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Google Sheets and Twilio Integration. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you will be seeing on the screen. Here we have two windows, Trigger and Action. Now before we move ahead with the creation of the workflow, make sure that you have opened your already prepared Google Sheet like this where you have named different columns for appointment details and then you have your Twilio account as well. Now let us understand the functioning of trigger and action window. So the trigger window is for the first application where the event will take place and it will make the action application perform the assigned action. For example, here we have the trigger application as Google Sheets because all the data that will be updated in the Google Sheet in the new row will be fetched by Pavli Connect over here as a response that you will be seeing soon. Here it says capture webhook response. So we will be using this webhook URL provided by Pavli to us. And then when we connect our trigger application and Pavli Connect, it will be received as a response. Watch all the information that will be entered over here. So let us begin with the webhook URL. First of all, you need to fill in the details of the customer or the patient for whom you are creating the appointment. For example, I am using it as, this is the name, the date of appointment is, when you enter the date, make sure that you change the format of this as the plain text so that it will be fetched as it is. No change in the format will be made. The time, so you can also enter the time, that the time of the appointment is, the counselor's name with whom we have the appointment and the contact number which is very much necessary because we are going to send an SMS to this contact number only. Here is the contact number. Now after this we will proceed with using the webhook URL. So go to extensions and go to add-ons, get add-ons. Over here we are going to add one add-on to our Google Sheets which will help us to connect with Pabli. So here you will put Pabli Connect webhooks. Now this is the add-on that is already installed in my system but you need to install it before you create your workflow. Once you are done with the installation, it will be visible to you in the extensions menu only. Click on this Pabli Connect webhook, go to initial setup and then it will ask you for the webhook URL and the trigger column. So you need to copy this webhook URL from here and paste it right here. The trigger column is the last updated column. So we have the name, the date of appointment, the time, the name of the counselor and we have the contact number which means our trigger column is E. Click on submit. That's how you submit this information. It says that setup configured successfully and now we send a test because it is waiting for a response right here. Because we have sent a test, we will be receiving a response over here in no time. Here we have the response with all the details that have been entered over here in our sheet. Now once you're done with this, there is one last thing left. Go to extensions again, Pabli Connect webhook and initiate the send on event option. This will make sure that every new row added will be sent over here as a response. Now we are going to use this information for, for sending the message of the appointment as a reminder to our customer. So let us choose our action application as Twilio. The action event over here will be send SMS message. Connect your account by clicking on add new connection and then it will ask you the SID authorization token. So that you will find over here as soon as you open your Twilio account, scroll down and in the front page only you will have the SID and the authorization token. You will need your Twilio phone number as well and you will be getting it when you connect your accounts. So copy this SID, paste it in both the sections over here and the third field as well and then copy the authorization token and then you paste it right here. Click on save and then your work is done. It's connected. Now you will enter certain details that are required to send a message or compose a message. The body of the SMS that what you are going to text the person. So it will be dear 
map the name of the customer which is this your appointment with map the name of the doctor is on map the date which was this at the time and the time is this all right please be on time slash n is for the enter so that whatever you write after that appears in the next line and this is done the message has been composed the sender number the person who's sending so we are sending so we are going to get this from this copy your personal twilio phone number and then paste it here in the sender's number all right in the recipient number you will enter the number that you are going to take from the spreadsheet that we have entered just make sure you enter the country code before that and then you can map the number it's here so this is the number click on save and send test request and your message will be sent so it says that the message has been sent successfully let us completely close this window and check for the message that have we received a message or not so here we have the response over here you can see that it's sent from the twilio trial account as it says because it's a trial account we have the completely composed message that we did just now and the date and the time is also given over here so you will be receiving a message like this or the customer will be receiving a message like this whenever you are adding a new row in your google sheets so when you add something in the google sheet a message will be sent through twilio this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.